Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you get to watch and learn. This is your teacher, Rojab Michira. So in today's class, we're getting to sources of information on history and government. That is a topic that we have been discussing for the last four lessons. And we did look at, we have got three sources of information on history and government. We said one, we have got written source. Two, we have the unwritten source. And now today we'll get to electronic source as a, as, as a source of information on history and government. Stay tuned in and let us learn. So learners, at the end of the lesson, I expect that we be able to state the source of information on history and government and also get to state the advantages and limitations of electronic source as a source of information on history and government. Now, can you get to look at these electronic sources? What are they? Now, these are audiovisual media which are operated by electronic power. Now, these are media that are operated by electronic power. They include, we have got the radio, we have got television, we have the videos and computers. I know we all know what these are, right? They are uh, operated by electronic power. In this case here, yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't uh, operate a television without having electric power. You can't operate a computer if you don't have electric power. You can't use a radio if you don't have electronic power. Now, these are what we call electronic sources. They are audio, visual media. In this case, audio, it is only that you hear the information, but you don't see. For example, a radio. You get to only hear information, but you don't see. But when it comes to visual information or the visual media, you are getting to see the person who is giving the source, right? Or rather, you get to see the person who is telling you something. For example, in a television, we always watch news, right? We always see live coverages in our, in our place. Those are the visual media. And also, we have the audio visual. For example, the uh, television, we have, it is the audio, you get to hear the sound, and also you get to see the person. That is what it means by audio visual media. I know there are some who have never seen some of these audio visual media. Let us look at some of the examples. For example, we have a radio, and you may be worried how a radio looks like. That is how a radio looks like. However, man has made different, uh, has, has really made um, significant improvements in getting out different forms or the different uh, mix of radios. Now, that is a radio, which is audio media. Then we ha also have a computer. For example, we'll, we have a, a computer, which is a form of a laptop. That is an audio visual also. We also have a television. A television is, a, is in that kind. I know there are some of us who have never seen a television. That is it. That is how it looks. So it transmits audio and visual media. Now, what are some of these advantages of electronic source? One, they provide information fast. For example, recently the United States of America conducted elections and we could see live coverages. We could see the counting of votes. So meaning information, that is information is transmitted in a fast mode. Then also the information is stored for future reference. For example, videos. This video we have recorded, it can be stored for even 100 years, meaning the information can be stored for future reference. And lastly, the information can be conveyed to any part of the world. And I've given you a good example. When the US was conducting elections, we were in Kenya, you were in Australia, but you could see live coverages from the United States. That means that information can be conveyed to any part of the world. Now, can you get to look at the disadvantages of electronic sources? What are some of the limitations does it have as a source? One, it can only operate in a place where there is electricity. So in this case here, it can only be used in places where there is electricity. And I said this, these media use electronic, electronic energy. You cannot operate a television if you don't have electricity. You cannot operate a laptop or a computer if you don't have electricity. You can't get to show a video if you don't have electricity. So in that case, it's only available in, in places where there is electricity. And also, they are expensive to obtain and use. For example, 
you purchasing a laptop it 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 cost you it, it will not cost you less than 30000 meaning it is expensive look at a television right it is expensive source of obtaining information and also it requires experts right for example you bought a you bought a television you need a person who is going to fix that for you right so it requires expertise talk of videos we need people who record right we need people who who display the images or rather who, who display the videos those are the expertise so for you to use the electronic source you must have knowledge and skills on how to operate those computers or all those electronic sources class having said that as always we always give an assignment for more learning and for more research can you get to look at advantages and limitations of using electronic as a source of, of history and we have uh, we have just named a few of the advantages and disadvantages we have very many right can we get to use our reference material which is evolving world history form 2 Oxford Press, the sixth edition. We will have very many examples, very many advantages, very many limitations of electronic source of information. For more videos, for more videos where you can get to learn, can you kindly get in touch with us, which is Elimu TV, Elimu TV by our SMS line. You can get to see our SMS line there. You can also reach us on, on uh, our, YouTube, our YouTube channel, Always learn to subscribe when you watch. Learn to subscribe and also like that page. We also have got a Facebook account, which is Elimu TV Kenya. We also have got a Twitter account, which is at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Learners, let us always watch and learn and stay tuned to Elimu TV, a station where you get to watch and learn.